Summertime it was okay living in a tent, but now it's getting cold. I'm a camper, so I, we start a small fire if we can, or we have candles that we use to provide heat in our tent. I'm right now just trying to get a place to live to get off the streets, get out of this cold weather. I'm, I'm my afraid that I may not make it this winter with being this cold. The problem that we have in Northwest Arkansas, and this is not unlike the rest of the country, is the entry into the homeless continuum uh, is spotty. There, there are lots of barriers to housing. We gotta figure out a way to try and strip away the majority of those. I try staying at the Salvation Army shelter, but they're infested with bed bugs, so it was my health or staying inside, and so I had to choose my health. Uh, part of the motivation for New Beginnings was that, uh, the fact that uh, we have a population anywhere fluctuating between 50 and 100 people who are living outside unsheltered. Nobody wants to live in squalor and, and filth. Uh, I mean, they just don't want to. There's a reason why people live in the woods. Uh, for, for many, they have to because there aren't any other viable options. What we need to do is to create a new option. We decided that, that if we created this bridge housing concept, that we would be able to create a pathway for people to move from the woods woods towards more permanent housing by spending uh, some time reacclimating themselves to what it meant to be uh, a citizen, what it meant to be a neighbor, and what it meant to be a member of a community. That they were talking about building cabins or some kind of community place for the homeless. And now that you, what you've told us about them actually doing it, is actually bringing some truth to what they said that they were going to do last year and they bought the property.